How are we doing? Yes, are we good? Let's go ahead and sit down, ladies. We've done this plenty of times. No need to formalities being so sweet. Anyway. Well, hello, gorgeous people. Hi. Are we ready to have a good time? Yes? Yes. yes. It feels are so good to be back. Yes. We're, we're back, and it's cold. Our tits are out. By the way, if anyone does not want to hold on to their jackets, coat check is open. It's it the is first now. day of coat check. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> that means it's cold here. It's cold Baby. here in Chicago. Mariah Carey's in the thar. She's waiting. She said, let's go. <laughs> She's totally ready for it. All right, we're going to go ahead and introduce our guests for today. Please welcome the winner of her season for RuPaul's Drag Race, the one and only Miss Willow Pill. <laughs> Whoa, 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 pill. Yes, she is visiting us all the way from down the street. Yes, welcome, yes. Willow. <laughs> and joining us from season two of Drag Race UK, she is a finalist there. Give it up and make some noise for Ellie, Ellie. Diamond. Diamond. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Watch your step, Dave. Looking Take your good. Time. Professional. Time. Good. Ah! Well, welcome. Welcome, ladies. Ellie, you've been watching us for years, you said, across yes. the pond. Yes. How cool to be here. Welcome. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you, Sean. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Willow, what you been doing? Where you been? How are you? You know, just taking a shit up the street. You know? <laughs> yes. Thank work the world a little bit, yeah. Welcome yes, back from yes, that. Yes, I did work the world. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. You, you know, know what was your favorite place to visit out of uh, all the places you've been so far? Oh, Reno, Nevada. <laughs> what? No, definitely not. Um, uh, probably. I was like, what? Uh, I always love San Francisco. Yeah. San Francisco is my favorite place. Did you go to the fair with Angeria in San Francisco? No, okay. I didn't. I missed it this year. We were in Denver. Damn, um, we'll but next year. Okay. Yeah. Next year. <laughs> Reno. I gagged when you said that. Um, all right. Well, again, welcome, Roscoe's, and welcome to our guest. And welcome to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. If you have not pushed that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so. At some point or another, we're going to start doing special things for those people who are subscribed. So make sure to subscribe now. Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to suck your dick. Button. <laughs> oh, we also nice. have merch coming. We have merch coming, which we're so excited about. And then we have, where's that little button that we're supposed to point at? It's over, oh, yeah. over there. Here. Right? Yeah, over there. In this corner. Over there. It should be over there. Click on that. <laughs> to the left, to the left. <laughs> He'll put it wherever we're pointing, literally. Anyway, um, with that said, we started a great season. We really want to jump into this. So is everyone here ready? Yes? <laughs> Have you, have you two been watching um, this season yet so far? Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, should we jump into it? Roscoe, are you guys ready? Let's go! Yes. All right. Okay, Partners. ladies. We're on. So, teams, how do you ladies like working in teams? Hate. <laughs> Hate. Why? Uh, let me fail on my own. If I'm gonna fail, let me fail. If I'm gonna win, let me win. Yeah. I don't wanna share that with someone else. How about you, Willow? I love it. I think it's fun. I think my favorite drag is always doing like group performances or duets. Yeah. It's supposed to be shared. I love I love working with other people. Yeah, it's it's fun to see everyone in a group setting because some people can handle it, some people the personalities can get like a little much. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So let me ask you, do you know anyone on this season? Oh, yeah. Personally, like mm -hmm. friends with anyone? or Not personally, but like I moved to Manchester in January of this year. And I know Cheddar and Danny and who else is there? Sminty. They're all from Manchester. So oh, nice. yeah, yeah. So you work together, stuff like that, or not yet? Uh, like, no, like seeing them drunk in the club and like, all right, girl, oh, you yeah. want to <laughs> walk on Red Bull? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's Danny. Can you say that again, like, please? Do you want a vodka or a Red Bull? <laughs> or do you want a little, a little bag or something? You know what I mean? She does. 
You know what she does? Which one's that one? Say her name. Danny. 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 Oh yeah, Danny Beard. Beard. You know, like you know the Mac Studio Fix, how it has like a little flip for the, um, you have the palette underneath and then you the, have the pad. There's no pad in there, baby. It's she more, it's more white powder, but like for your face. The way she just put that up. She just let have, bitch. I live. Wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, is there anyone else that you want to spill tea on? <laughs> Anybody else? No. No, the ten. Okay. <laughs> well, speaking of white powder on their face, Scarlet just went home. Starlet. Ooh, not Scarlet. Starlet. Oh. Starlet. 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 What There's the hell? Double burn. <laughs> Um, did y'all think that was right? Do you think Jombers should have probably got the cut? I mean, I think Jombers won the lip sync, but I really wanted to see Starlet longer. I loved her accent. I loved her demeanor. Yeah. She reminded me a lot of Pearl oh, when she that. was on her first season. I kind of just loved the, like, no shits attitude. I was in love with her, and I love that she left and didn't have an exit line. Very Dolly. I Dolly. love it. Yeah. I think it's so fucking good. Oh, my own. Well, she just walks so, right out. She was well, so heartbroken. Do you I want? Mean, yeah. Do you want goss from what happened there? Please yes, spill. So do you see the tail like on the end of the screen? Yes. It sort of like sat there for a second. She dropped to the floor the second she like turned the corner. Aww. It was so sad. Then production was like, "How the fuck I'm naked?" <laughs> you got to the tail. <laughs> you know. oh well, production was just like, "Girl, come on, you need to get off the stage. We need to clear that shot." Work. Okay. It's juicy. But yet Meanwhile, they let Pangina fucking... stand there and cry forever. Remember that? That was shady. But <laughs> they did her so dirty. That was like when they did Rock'em Sock or Dirty as well and Dahlia and they put those little clips in. They could have edited that out. <laughs> Rude. You, you know who they did dirty? Uh, Layla. Layla McQueen. Her exit. She had a cute little... Uh, she had this. She told me afterwards. She's like, she gave a whole speech like thank you for letting me be on and all this kind of stuff. And then they show the edit. It just shows her walking right Running the fuck off. out. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck? I said something, I swear. But yeah, it just showed her like right out. It was, it was a gag. Yeah, yeah. I think it's better to not say anything. It's more true to how you actually feel. Right. It's, it's uh, well, Willow, you don't know how that feels. I, she never I, had to do I, that. I, I was I just going to say <laughs> no, but I do. I do, though. How? Because they filmed my elimination. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So they yeah, filmed they, everybody being eliminated, yeah, right? Yeah, they filmed me and Angeria both being eliminated. Oh. Uh, and so okay, I had to point. do the whole say a line, and I would have loved to just walk off and be like, fuck this! <laughs> But instead, I had uh, said something. Wait, are you allowed to say what you said while you were walking off, or no, not yet? Probably not, but I, I'll say it. <laughs> um, oh, fuck, what did I say? I remember they laughed. Yeah, great. So trust, trust, just trust me. <laughs> no. What did I say? Oh, 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 I said, um, oh, I love you all so much, and I can't wait to see you in court. <laughs> And RuPaul laughed a lot, and I was like, oh, no, maybe it was too funny, and now they're going to use it. Now they want to show it. <laughs> <laughs> do you, but you guys didn't have to do, like, the mirror thing or any of that kind of stuff, No, right? no, we had to you do did? all that. So you did the mirror. What did you write on the mirror? That I honestly do not remember. We were so fucking tired. I think I said, like, live, laugh, fart, and bye. Like, I, I was just so exhausted at that point, and they were like, how was your experience on Drag Race? And I was like, Good. And they're like, would you change anything? No. Like, <laughs> I was trying to make it unusable so they wouldn't use it. And they didn't. So. <laughs> she was. Good. I love that. I love that. Okay. Um, do you ladies have any questions? Should we jump right back into this? Yeah, let's yeah, just see how these duos do. Yeah. Let's we had jump groups last right week and now they're paired back up. Let's see it. Yeah. Let's see how this team dynamic. Ooh. And we're back. Okay. We just saw all of our um, all contestants right. have their walkthrough with Rube, give their ideas. Um, Willow, Ellie, and Nasha, do y'all remember the dynamic um, it was like when Rue came to do the walkthrough in any group setting? Yeah, yes. You just, you just look. <laughs> Tell us. What you was that like? Lie, right? It was what? I would just always lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, lie. You're, uh, you're always insecure, and she's just like, so, how are things shaping up? And you're like, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazing. gonna kill it. Because if you show any ounce of insecurity, she's like, so tell me, what was it like when your father died? Is, this, <laughs> is that why you're doing poorly in this challenge? <laughs> I sense some insecurity. Well, I had quite an iconic moment on my season with RuPaul. You did. 
um, like, yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence was getting all the attention. I was like, hold on, we're both Scottish. Why is she not saying my name in Ellie Diamond? And I was like, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me, ma'am. I was like, why do you not say my name in a Scottish accent? She was like, oh, well, you know, we've came up with, um, um, uh, 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 and I was like, trying to think of something so the producers weren't, f I was like, oh, girl. <laughs> but then I thought that was fine. I mean, I was like, no, I would have spoke to her the same way I would have spoke to anybody else. Like, I wasn't that, I mean, I was starstruck, obviously, because it's fucking RuPaul. But at the same time, I was like, I'm not going into it being like, I'm going to, you know, and I was like, no, nah, well, I'll just act like myself in front of her. And that's how I talk to people. So that's just what well, I said. Everyone was like, I can't believe you did that. That's so disrespectful. Uh, no. <laughs> so disrespectful. She was not expecting it. She was shocked. And, and I was like, cool. You're like one of three girls to do it. Props to you, Diva. Like, come through. <laughs> well, who else? What was Pearl? Pearl. Pearl. Um, who else shook her when she Vixen? said something? Probably Vixen. Oh, Utica as well. So four. Oh, um, and um, uh, uh, Asia at the reunion, right? Asia, Asia O'Hara? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did she? Yeah. What did she oh, say? Yeah. She was like, because no one wanted to go and fucking help her. <laughs> oh. And RuPaul was like, I'm not, I'm, she's, she, if she wants to help, she needs to fucking ask for it. Oh, that's right. I, I really love Asia for that. Yeah. Ellie, thank you for doing what all of us wanted to do. We appreciate yeah. you so much. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. I think if I ever were to get eliminated, I'd stand there and say, you'll need to come and move me yourself because I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not moving. Also, if you stand next to RuPaul, I'm sure you guys are like eye to eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, Where yeah. Willow and I stand next to RuPaul, and we're just like looking oh, over. God. You're at her kneecap. <laughs> it was <laughs> Can you imagine actually. trying to give someone attitude like that? Like, no, you're going <laughs> to. Like, it's just, it's a little much. <laughs> it was so weird. When we first got there, I was wearing this in the workroom. And I turned to her, and I was like, how tall are you? And she was like, 6'4", just like you. And I was like, OK. Oh, that's, I was like, that's scary. You know how tall I am. <laughs> I'm smaller on my knees. <laughs> Nisha, how, true. About, how about for you? Was there any um, specific I moment? didn't last that long. I didn't have a moment with her. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I came back, and then we had the girl. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I came so back, true. and then I had the girl group uh, moment thing, you know, like our moment with her. Um, and it was, it was just, it was funny. She was just super intimidating, and it was, it was the, you know, rectangle girls of the world thing. I seen Giselle laugh. Oh, that. that is like my favorite song ever. Yeah, so that's what it was. <laughs> my Spotify Wrapped, number one. Yeah. Stop it. Rectangle it so girls of the world. Yeah. You might be shaped like a bumblebee. <laughs> Oh my god, that's that gonna... song is so fucking hard. I love it. <laughs> and you can stream Rectangle Girls of the World right now at <laughs> available <our> <laughs> on iTunes. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, but it was it was fun. It's just she's just quite an intimidating person, and just her energy. It, it's a good energy, but it's just it's intimidating. That's all. Um, but uh, yeah, it was good. And she kept telling uh, the other one. Um, the other one. Yes. Yeah. She Who kept, are you about she, to shave? She kept, yeah, that one. She kept telling her. She's Ooh, like, Who I know? She, she's like, You do realize that everything is not Britney Spears, right? <laughs> like, she had to keep telling her because she kept asking, like, music references because we were too, you know, it was a music, we were uh, a girl group. And she's like, So you know what this kind of music is, right? She's like, Well, yeah, like Britney, right? <laughs> it's like, no, girl, no. It was all the time, which was hilarious, but it was fun. It was good. Who are you talking about? Girl, some queen, girl. <laughs> Their name rhymes with Sherrick Berry. Girl. However, <laughs> she's okay, and she liked that one. Also, I love, it. I love that copper top in the first part of the episode is like, this is not gonna get to me, and then you cut to the next part, and she's like, this is getting this to is me. Getting to <laughs> I also love that she asked everyone like. Who said that I'm the one? I thought that was fierce. And she wants to know who. And then the little bit of delusion, she's like, well, it's because they're intimidated by me. And you're like, I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm not Man. sure that's it, girl. From okay, being so on it and seeing it, do y'all think it was a producer pushed question or Copper Top was really wondering? Oh, I mean, I'm not on an, N I'm not on an NDA, so I'm gonna tell you that was fucking push. That was dumb. It came out of nowhere, girl. It was oh, just like, hey, by the way, like they said, 
why don't you ask the girls how they, you know, how no, we came they up. had it's that very phone. That. Did you ever have? Did you ever have the phone? No. What is this phone? So on our season in Antarctica, we had the phone, and it would they would stand behind somebody with like whoever you were talking to. So say I was talking to you, they would stand behind you with a phone that flashes oh, yeah. that was like ask her about her dead cat. And I'd be like, in the middle of a conversation, like, oh, the design challenge was really good. Also, I heard about your cat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and she's like, Mr. Fluffles was my there's and not a, There has to be another way for and them the, to do the this. The crazy thing is like, but how did you hear about my cat? Right. I read it on the phone. Yeah, it was on the phone, yeah. <laughs> and they go, it's no, ca- well, you, you can't say that. We, say, say something else. Oh, I just heard on Facebook, you know. It was so sad. <laughs> Okay, so the energy in the workroom is all over the place. We've got a couple that is on the floor, pissed as hell about Still their fabric crying. choices, just really mad. Um, how would you feel if you were in that position? If I was sewing? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, if you... your partner was just like oh, if defeated, par- you know? Like oh, Swinty was that just would so... be shit. I, earlier I said I love to work in groups, but in a design challenge that I don't trust anyone else's taste. Uh, so if someone was starting to like panic, uh, I don't know what I would do. I would kick in and be like, well, we're gonna do this and this was happening. If you're not gonna think of something, girl, I'll think of it for you. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would just design Get something for out and be like, this is what you're wearing. And if you want to change anything, we'll just change it when we're making it. Yeah. But this is what we're doing, so shut the fuck up. Did, did, did you ladies look at these boxes and say, I definitely would not have wanted that color? Green. Blue. Green. Green. Really? Okay. And Green. I thought. And I smoke a lot of weed. Really? Because I thought I I don't know why I was like okay I would I would like the green or the you black. Like green. I Wait, like we're the all green. saying green. I'm I don't like, know. Well, there's a lot of green going on green. over there. <laughs> Here, but no, I. I, you know why? Because it's the obvious choice for it to be bad. So I figured the best shit might be in there. But then also gold. I don't think gold's a very... Like, it doesn't read well. Unless you do it very good, it doesn't read well. Okay. Is there any one you, you did like want? You almost won in gold. You almost won your challenge in gold. Yeah, I know, but I did it good. Like, if you don't do it good... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, it didn't read well. But Disclaimer. I did it good. Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. She means everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> she did it well. Um, is there a color that you guys wouldn't want? Blue. Blue? Oh, it's black. Yeah. Black. See, and I thought the black one would be, because you would think you're like, oh, black is going to be good, no, no matter what. No, there's a what. bunch of different textures. So I think they're going to fuck it up. They've you know got, what I mean? They've got the PVC and the sequin and the satin, and I think they can show dimension with that. The, I seem like, I know what fabric it is, because I know exactly where they bought it in London. It's like this huge, it's like this sort of like fake chain, is it like Versace? What's that brand? Yeah, I think it's Versace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that black with like the gold chain and like rose petals and stuff. Every costume person has one of those in uh, the UK. So I think they might use that. I've not seen it on Instagram, but I think they might use it. So before we go, before we go back to it, um, who do we think is in danger? And who do we think is going to be great in this, in this challenge? Black Pepper and who she paired with? Uh, John Burst. JB. Yes, they're cutting out. They've got strips of fabric. It seems like a lot of work and not enough yeah. time. Very L- facetious. Very ambitious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Doing the most. Okay. Put so a you, couple think, things. you think that group is going to do well? I'm going to struggle. No, struggle. Not enough time. Who do you think is going to do really well? Uh, Cheddar and Copper, because they both, like, they're, they know how to sew. Cheddar is very creative. So, whatever. Oh, even, it might be like a shit I, outfit, yeah. but. She'll hot glue stuff on top of it and make it look gorgeous. <laughs> and Danny Beard, I think Danny Beard will get great in this one too. Sminty seemed the most nervous through the walkthrough, so I think that's someone we have to look out for for the bottom, hopefully. She reminds me, not because they look alike, but what uh, Krista would do. I can't dance. It's a dance challenge. I'm going to be horrible. Oh, Chris then she's Versace. splitting and flipping and oh, doing yeah. the most. And do- I feel like that might happen with Sminty. Yeah, they're do- it's a little too obvious right now that it's like so bad. And I think it might be good. Maybe. The, uh, uh, yeah, that's her name. Right? Krista Versace? Krista Versace, From, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Every, she, she'd always say she was bad at everything. And she was like really good at she everything. She was so good at everything. We Couldn't, were like, what? Yeah. Yeah. That was my strategy, too. Well, <laughs> she was born to do drag. It worked for both of you. <laughs> and it worked. 
All right, let's go ahead and go right back. Woo! Ooh. There you go. That's it. It's looking kind of challenging for them, yes? It's looking pretty crafty up there. Yeah, it is. All right, but before pretty we get into craft. that, I thought they they were talking about a really interesting topic, uh, you know, dating when it comes to, you know, what we do in our field. Um, how do you ladies feel about it, and have you been have you found it challenging to date um, with your profession? <laughs> she, what? She, did you really don't have to think about that? that? One. I mean, oh I don't know. Like, it was the way Ali looked at me. Like, <laughs> never thought about. So it. you have to think I right now. Know. You have to think right now. I'm on <laughs> set and I put up my phone and I just asked you, "Is it hard to date?" <laughs> <laughs> like growing up in a small town in there Dundee. you go girl yeah, yeah. there you go give me all of that please no but like growing up in Dundee like has anyone been from Dundee before <laughs> really shut up you've not don't lie um <laughs> no, really have you oh no he has have you actually oh, oh he has oh. an accent I think he is from there oh, oh <laughs> shit what are you doing there he's the one Brit in the room he said oh yeah fuck me <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're cute. You're kind of handsome. Uh, where are you going in Dundee? You'll get there. Oh, it's a wedding, darling. He's going to it's a wedding. A wedding. Um, no, but yeah, dating in Dundee. Like, uh, I didn't really date. Like, the boyfriend that I've got just now, he's like my third boyfriend. Okay. And he's gorgeous. But um, the, yeah, dating was all right. It's all right. Just I. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I never had anyone be like, oh, wait, actually, you know what? Eyebrows. I don't have any eyebrows either. I shave my eyebrows off. That's the thing for me. I'm like, I don't know if someone likes that or not. Like, this, like one time, I, so I used to do, like the pencil. I have the Amazon eyebrows now, but the pencils, I used to like just do like, a little pencil. And like, you'd, you know, have a little bit of fun in the bedroom with someone and you'd come back up from it. And oh, you've got no any eyebrows on. And they're like, did you not have like brown slugs on before? And you're like, um, yeah, where's my baseball cap? <laughs> yeah, eyebrow tattoos have been a game changer for me. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, no eyebrows is like coming in fashion a little bit. I think even the yeah. straights are doing it. Um, but I, I, th they are. They're like bleaching their brows now. I love it. Any straights? Uh, also, Cheddar Gorgeous, who has no brows, <laughs> is fucking hot as hell. Yeah, Cheddar um, is gorgeous. I think she's so fucking fine. Um, but I, yeah, what LaPhil said I thought was so true. It's like the more femme that you are, the more straight boys want you, but they don't really want you, you know, relationship-wise. Um, so it's like a really weird uh, place to be. But, you know, things are changing a lot, and I think people are opening their minds. Are those my chicken wings? Oh, yeah, baby. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> These are dirty. Yeah, you want some? No, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, thank back you. to our class on gender thank and sexuality. Uh, but no, I liked that. I honestly really liked that conversation too. Uh, you know, sometimes the drag race mirror talks can be a little like heavy and exploitive, and I thought that one was more relatable and uh, topical. Yeah, I've definitely had my fair share of dating the trade and dating the gays, and yeah, it's just, it's, I mean, I think like they all said, as being an entertainer, putting yourself out there, being very vulnerable. It, it demasculinizes them when we're just trying to do something fun, entertain. I mean, I mean we, we love what we do, but I, they're, they hit it right on. I mean, the more femme you are, the less chances that, that you're going to be with a more masculine man. But like Willow just said, I think the world is changing. People are seeing people for people and not as gender, and I think that's absolutely fabulous because what's between your legs does not define who you are as a person at all. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, and I, yes, and I yes. say that as, as a proud trans woman who dates a trans man. So, Burke. let that fuck your mind up real yeah. quick. <laughs> I live, I live. You know what's so funny is that, like, dating, when I, when I wasn't sure about, like, I had long hair, barely any brows, and I was catering so much to Nasha Lopez, right? That it interfered with who Fabian looked like and who 
how I expressed myself or portrayed myself during the day. I was throwing on a baseball cap all the fucking time, and my hair was in a ponytail all the fucking time. I took no time to shop for Fabian, none of those things, right? And then I'm like, why am I not dating? Well, yeah, you're, not, you're doing nothing for you. Yeah. And it wasn't until I got comfortable in my own skin and started to do things for Fabian and learn how to separate the two that I was actually, I started dating and this and that because it, it really comes down to you and how you're feeling because that, I feel like that energy radiates. Um, you can't sell somebody, you can't sell something that you're not buying. You know oh, what I, I mean? I sell this pussy. So, yeah, I'm buying it now. I'm so like, I'm <laughs> buying it. So you got to sell it, bitch. Oh, so I was you got to sell it. I was first in line. I queued up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I had the tent. I had the flask. Ready to go. But RuPaul says that you got to love yourself to love somebody else. Absolutely. I mean, that, no, to oh. just like, to, I know, but to, I know, but to, to bring it back full circle, it is really fucking true, girl. Totally. But I want to take this opportunity really quick. I want to uh, tell everyone that we are now going to have, um, we mentioned it a little bit earlier, we have Roscoe's merch. We have merchandise. Um, we're going to have a little link over here on the corner of the right of your screen you can go ahead and click on that link and you can take a look at all the merch that we're going to have um, and to check out like the descriptions of all the different things that we'll have also you can check out uh, the merchandise on Roscoe's website um, it'll be available there as well and on dragqueenmerch.com that is official Roscoe's merch so if you see it there you can also purchase it so make sure you guys take a look and then next week we're all going to rock it we're yeah, really excited we're to be it. walking our our, our Roscoe's wear, yes? Not me. We love it here. Yeah, yes, next yes, yes. week, guys, you wait for it. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> All right, but on that note, let's go ahead and get right back into this gig, yeah. yes? Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. <laughs> Can I get ketchup? All right, we are back. Oh, and oh. listen, Cheddar, Miss Cheddar, I, what, what do you ladies think? But oh. I think Cheddar was shady boots. Down for letting her come out with that hair. <laughs> Didn't help her with cut. Like that, that, that was some obvious. What do you ladies think? That I want to know just... why Cheddar looked like Copper Top while she was wearing her hair. Yeah, that really like spooked me. Was it her hair that? Uh, I don't know, thing? but Cheddar should. Cheddar not... was wearing red hair. Cheddar was wearing red is. hair with Copper Top, and Copper Top didn't wear copper they hair. They wore blonde and the white boots, which everyone said don't wear. The and... boots were a full no. And, and that's what Willow was talking yeah. about. Taste level, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was criminal. <laughs> I loved that. I loved when Michelle said, for my eyes, it's not for me. <laughs> this is not for my eyes. <laughs> it's very what a kind way to say this is fugly. <laughs> no, it's, the, it's cute for you. Very that. I was it just, say. Yeah, it wasn't right. No. And like the girl was, Cheddar was putting all the the things on with the hot glue. What was Copper doing? Because they read her. They told her that hers Talking was not about as. how she got awarded the <laughs> most. Am I on? Copper it, what was it? They're so shady with these awards. It's like most insecure. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> not Copper, but um, Cheddar saw. Copper's lack of taste and was like, dig your own grave. I'm a, I'm a dude. But we're gonna look similar. Well, well you know what? You know, that's what like being we're in a group. Be Are they gonna gold. be judged together? Are they gonna be solo? Well, see, that's the thing. Even if you get judged, because this is what I was thinking. I'm like, if your group is in the bottom, guess who you're lip syncing against? <laughs> that girl. The bitch you're in the bottom. What yeah. your girl? You know what I mean? So it's like, was was that kind of a little bit of a sabotage? Maybe. Well, maybe. possibly because. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am. RuPaul usually says you'll be judged as teams before something. No, she'll, they they always wait to tell you. No, you it yeah, the last because she did that last week when they were in the groups. Remember, she's yeah, like, oh, they, yeah. They always wait for the runway because they want to control the narrative. That's really yeah, what it's okay. about. So if there's two people and they were the lowest ones, but they do not want to send them home, then they're going to be. Uh, judged individually. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's really about what's going to fit the narrative. If there's two queens over there and they're like, we don't mind if any of these two bitches go home. Guess what? Team, you guys <laughs> suck. You're in the bottom. Uh. Figure it out. It's very that way. Just go back. Like, when you watch seasons like uh, Binge, when you binge shit is when things are really obvious. Um, and I'm a binge watcher. I like to watch a whole season a like whole back season, to back. Yeah. 
And when you watch everything, then you're like, really? Oh, how did I not see it before? See what's going on. You start to see all those things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But Doing, um, who do, who, so who do we really, really like and who don't we like? I like I mean, Dakota. Yeah, Dakota Schiffer. Yeah, I love Dakota. And Baby, they looked good. Very high, very high fashion, like they said, 60s and 90s kind of giving. Um, they're both so tall and gorge. Ugh, I live. Willow, what do you think? I really like Sminty and LaFell's. Same. Yeah. I thought it was favorite. perfect for the runway. I think, uh, like, up close, I would like uh, Dakota and Baby's more. But from, like, a runway standpoint, I think... Sminty and LaFills was just so like striking. It was very like Christian Cohen nineties runway. I loved it. And it's so funny that Michelle's like, Well for me, that little panty string right there I'm like, bitch, you know damn well you didn't see that damn panty. Until she was standing Until, right there. Well and not even and you know what, not even that, because you saw how close they had to zoom in for us to see it, right? Yeah. They're not standing right there. Like they are quite the distance away. But they do take everyone's photo before you get on the runway. So that's where I think the judges really get into the look. You're just trying to take Drag Race down tonight. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) No, look. We are not the number one viewing party for no reason. Okay. This is where you come for the tea. This is where you come for the truth. And I am no exception, bitch. I will tell you you're every. Like, you're I like, will tell you all <laughs> of the fucking tea. You're like, listen. They film at five five one nine North <laughs> Glenwood Avenue in. <laughs> you know they changed the location. I don't know where the new one. Is. <laughs> the code to I the game is four four one. Studio two. I gotta find out the new location, bitch, because I've never. I I heard they moved. It used to be the Lu- the the Lucille Ball studio where. They did I Love Lucy. I we know, filmed, I when yeah. I filmed it, they were in like Silmar or something. We filmed in the same studio where uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was filmed. The, the original or? The, um, the new up, like, updated one. With uh, Johnny Depp? Yeah, yeah The Johnny yeah, yeah. Depp one. Oh my God, yeah. that's awesome. That's so cool. And they were also filming The Little Mermaid at the same time. And we had seen, the, what's the big dog called in The Little Mermaid? The big white fluffy dog? That one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the, the dog and the Little Mermaid. <laughs> we seen the, them like walking this big white dog, and I was like, oh, I bet you'll be for the Little Mermaid. And dinosaurs as well. We seen dinosaurs go past in the van when we're all outside smoking and crying. What? That's sick thing. I love because they were filming. What was the big dog though? Wait, let's go back. It's the, the big prince. white dog and the Little Mermaid. The prince. The prince has the a dog. The prince's dog. Yeah. What's his name? Max. His name Max. is Max. Oh. His name is Max. Disney yeah. Gaze. I never met Max before. Disney Gaze. He was that big, like, long-haired dog. Yeah, no? I'll get reacquainted with it when it yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Can not See wait. Pers- Speaking of long-haired dogs, we have Jomber's Blonde and Black Pepper. <laughs> that may be <laughs> in the bottom. <laughs> Transition, I don't know. It's good. You did that, bitch. <laughs> um, it's between them two and Cheddar and Copper. Copper. Who do we feel is going to be in the bottom? Or do you think they're going to split it up? I don't. I think uh, any of them could be in the bottom. But can we talk about the two that were safe, Danny and Pixie? The, okay, they were safe because those, they made the same exact dress. Those the were hems were so probably right. Simple. Oh, dumb and dumber, girl. It was like <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't have anything extra or anything that they could have been like critiqued at really hard compared to the other girls. I think that's why they were Gail, safe. it was just a black, simple dress. It was blue. It was, it was blue. <laughs> it was a nice dress. Purple. Nice shoulder pads. <laughs> nice purple. hemline. Purple? No, they had the blue bag. They, it, it, it was so they bad. They had the purple. <laughs> but you know what it was? It, it wasn't... <laughs> it's just... It was the other two were like bad, bad, right? Yeah, like they were, but they there was like some at least design in there. I don't know. No, they fully saw Black Pepper and Jumbers on the floor. They're like, girl, we're good. Just stretch it <laughs> we're over. Good. We're, good. <laughs> we're not taking bitch. no risks. Yeah. Oh, did, did anybody read those books where it's like a teacher that says she's going on vacation, and then she teaches the kids with like black hair and like a she's like scary looking. The magic school bus. No. I don't know. Ma- Not the Red magic hair. school bus. Maybe this was a fever dream I had when I was a kid. Wait, no, I feel like I know what you're talking about. No, you guys know what it is? 
What is it, Miss Nelson? Yes, it looked like that. Look it up, YouTube. Oh, Ms. I'm Nelson. looking it up. What right is now. it called, Miss Nelson? I think so, yeah. Miss Nelson, some. It d- Ms. Did, Nelson. did they not look like that? Yeah. Miss Nelson is yes, missing. I remember. Yeah. I'm old, remember that. I don't remember any of this shit. Nope. Yep. Hold on, let's get that. That was quicker than a Google search. They did that. I really want to find this, but I won't Everyone's do it on, on y'all's phones. time. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it later. But I will take this opportunity to let you guys... Uh, I want to send a little shout-out to Daniel and to Santiago. Daniel is in Vietnam. They're in Vietnam, and they watch us every single week. Daniel and Santiago, much love to you guys. Hi, thank babes. you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys continue to watch. Did we find this? No, her, her phone yeah. started recording everything Did we you find were it? Saying. Does it, it was, really look it like It was her? voice recording, Miss Nelson's missing, and then it's like, Daniel and Santiago. <laughs> <laughs> but I got it. Yeah, it's, yeah, she's scary. Well, they were scary. Boo. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and see who the hell is going to be lip syncing right now. All right, Mikey, let's go right back. All right. Why does RuPaul look like that? <laughs> It's just between us girls. That's the breath right before that part right there. Oh, wow. It's that, like, (gasps) (gasps) mid-sneeze. We just saw a little bit of Untucked, and they're about to get into this lip sync. Um, I feel like Dakota was stirring the pot. She was civilly stirring the pot. She said, hand me this spoon. Mm. Do you all agree with um, what they're saying and where the conversation's going? What do you ladies... I, I don't know. Where is it going? Like, who's, I don't know. Who do you think is going to be in the bottom? Who do you think? I think Pepper's going to be in the bottom. Copper or Pepper? And... Um, a top, I really don't know. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. The garment was unfinished on the runway. That's like, has to be the hardest thing. And I... Huh? Um, peppers. peppers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I understand the frustration, but I understand being so ambitious and wanting to do something amazing. But like we always say, this is not the time to do it, you know? So I don't know. We'll see. Like make that a home and bring it for a runway like that sort of textiles and stuff like that. What do you think, Willow? Um, I already saw spoilers on Instagram, so I should... (laughs) <laughs> me too. I'm trying to not be like okay, biased. Don't, like, give, it don't, give, it don't give it away. Don't give it away. So I don't want to give it away. Um, but it was yeah, what I was about. I would predict what it ended up being. Yeah. So. So yeah. Okay. So don't tell us because what you're predicting Excuse is me. being. Like, How happen. many of you have seen the episodes yet? Just a few of you. Okay. I haven't seen the episode. Okay. I just saw some Instagram posts. But okay. Okay. What do you think? What is your... I really think someone will be going home tonight. Duh, bitch. I feel like there will be a lip sync. <laughs> you already saw it. You oh, already watched might, it, didn't you? There might be a twist. You, you know what? <laughs> what a twist. There might be a twist. All right. Well, let's, let's see if there's a good twist. Someone going home. Who's lip syncing? Let's see all that. Mikey, let's get right back into it. All right, Roscoe's. Before we get into this lip sync, go ahead and start thinking of some questions. We will make our way around shortly for any questions you have for Ellie, Willow, any of our hostess. And as well, stick around at 1030. We will have performances from our two special guests and all three of our hostesses as well. I do want to say, because we didn't talk about this, Laomi is gorge. Correct. Wow. Like... I love that hair. So yeah. beautiful. Wow. So beautiful. Yeah. I gotta look her up now. And she seemed like a fan of the show. She kept up with the course. Yeah, she was with the lingo. The I runway. lived. I lived. And I like when they have girls, or guests, I should say, when they have guests that really do enjoy the show, that yeah. are like fans and have watched it. You can really tell uh, the difference. Um, also, I want to let everyone know that next week, guests are... La La, La Rie. Rie. Ooh, 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 ooh. And Adore Delano. Delano. Oh, yeah. So seats are on sale now. Check the link on our Instagram profile. Yes. And uh, you can go ahead and get tickets for next week. Uh, let's talk about this lip sync. That was a good lip sync, yes? That was good. I just fell in love with Copper Top. Her performing really gave, like, it gave a little more, you know? And I saw she can perform. Batty okay. thought yeah. there was going to be a double save because Top or Top I thought was... maybe she could have been saved there. Oh, you didn't think so? I agree. Whoever laughed, I agree. <laughs> I mean, Willow. 
They just did, look, this has got to be hard for them because they just went in. Their first two challenges were counting on other What's people. What's in this drink? Tequila. <laughs> it's a pumpkin spice margarita, says. Um, fuck, what? Oh, the two, no, they've had, the first week and this week, they've had to rely on other people. And so now I'm excited next week to see that. Nisha, shut up. Next week I to see, anything. you don't have to, I see you. Um, them alone. Okay, bye. It's good. Cha- <laughs> it's good challenges next week as well. Girl, I'm just listening to you ramble, bitch. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about over there. Anyway, uh, Willow, can I get your opinion on the lip sync really quick? The lip sync was messy. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. It, it was, was really messy. I but I, I, a, a messy lip sync like is messy fine. Though. Yeah, it's fine. And and Peppa definitely came out on top. But you know, sometimes you're just desperate. <laughs> I hate when it's like the build up to the song and someone does a split just at the wrong time like when the it is not on the beat or but it's not like a certain thing it's like there's a lead up and you do it right at the beginning i'm like copper top did like a jump split forward thing at one point and i was like that was not the right time it's all about the timing I love seeing it when production just throws a queen to the slaughter of the lip sync assassin, i.e. Yeah. throwing anyone to taste, throwing anyone to Georgia. Seeing them do it now, I'm just like, yeah, Copper, it was your turn. Sorry, babe. How was it for y'all seeing anyone just get ate up in a lip sync? Who was your favorite eat up? I mean, Orion got pretty beat up. In that. <laughs> did, that, did she not give just a little bit of Orion there? Copper top? No, no. No, I, I, I mean, I mean, was, yeah. I, no, just like the look. I felt who am like I offending? I don't know. <laughs> Party. Uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, Copper, copper held her own. Uh, Ellie, how was it for you seeing any of the girls get ate up during the lip sync? Um, <laughs> I can project. Um, oh, I don't know. I can't remember. I mean, no one really, I mean, other than Tace eating everyone else up, like, no one really ate on our season. Like Tia and Lawrence, I'm trying. Like that's the only person I can think of right now. And like, that was even that wasn't very good. Was she like, just huh. read her whole I mean, season Bimini. right now. <laughs> well, like, yeah. She just read all of them. She's what, like, eh. what about Bimini? Nobody really let me have it oh, that way. B- Bimini with oh Bimini with Joe. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that was fierce. Like it was the first day, and Bimini is like on her hands doing fucking you see if you if, watch the episode back you see me in the background literally being like because i was like this bitch is in the air doing acrobatics and tricks and i was like don't put me against her please <laughs> you know what see with the season with um brooklyn and evie oddly that lip sync was super fierce. Them Baby, two against each other. That was like such a good one because you were like, uh, and they were both saved, right? Is that what happened? Yes. Yeah. yeah, they were both saved, right? I thought that lip sync was really good. Um, what other lip sync do you think is iconic? Um, uh, what's the, what was the Laganja when she came back for that All Stars thing? What was that? Oh, physical? Oh, yes. Physical. When, the the when she was the lip sync assassin. Shit. When she yeah. spins and she takes it off and she knocks Silky in the face is the funniest shit. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. You see Silky and Akira just like get whacked in the face with this big green weed costume. And you know, Roxy, when Roxy came as the lip sync assassin, one. she looked so good. Then the, on the ass, what did it say? Thick and, Thick juicy. and juicy. juicy. She looks so so sick. That was a good lip sync. That, that one was really good. Wake, oh, Roxy Andrews wigs can... Mm, chef's case. Love that. Okay, well, we look forward to uh, next week's episode. It's going to be a good one. We're going to take this Roscoe's picture with the cast. Everyone look over at Sean. Awesome. And, okay, so uh, do we have questions in the audience so that we can come out and get those questions for you? Are we ready for that? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do that. All right, Let's also, that. YouTube, if you haven't subscribed to Roscoe's YouTube, subscribe. Click subscribe, the link and subscribe. 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 Also, hi to um, future people watching this. Hello. We're coming. Hi, YouTube. It's camp. All right, we got our first question over here. What's your name? My name is Meredith. Meredith, you don't have to yell at us. Hi, Meredith. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. It is loud. And what's your question? It's not a question so much. It's just to say that you all are beautiful. I mean, extraordinary. And my boy came out, my beautiful boy, came out years ago. I know, I'm sorry, Connor. I'm so sorry. We, we love it. We Keep love going. it. Keep going. Years ago to me, but it wasn't until your season, Willow, that I was able to, you, in pandemic and everybody staying together, I was able to enjoy the culture of all of you and, and your wonderfulness. And I have been, like, I'm way more into it than he is now. <laughs> I'm drinking. I bought the tickets here tonight. And I'm just saying that you guys are so extraordinary and, and, and bringing people together in, a, in an incredible way that couldn't happen any other way. And thank you so much. And oh I'm sorry. God. There's no question. Aww. And thank you. Woo! So you're saying I solved homophobia. Yes. <laughs> What's, <laughs> mom's, What's mom's name? Meredith. Meredith and Meredith. Connor. Meredith, thank you so much for that. Thank you, darling. Hi, I'm Sean. Um, Hi, Willow Sean. and Ellie. So, if you actually went back onto like All Stars or International, what judge would you want to have on the show? Would you want on the show? Oh, what judge would you want on the show? Okay. Can we like say someone who's already been a judge? Sure, they bring them back. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would love to meet Miley Cyrus. Oh my God, I love her. So Miley, or Ash Nico, I love Ash Nico, I love their music, so one. I think Ash Nico would be very fierce. I think I would love to see, oh, Amy Sedaris, I would love to see her on the show. She's actually, she's been a judge on the show, hasn't she? I'd love to have her back. Or Maria Bamford. Not boo. Hi, we have a question right here, what's your name? Uh, Felipe. Hello. Hi. Uh, so, Caramel, I love you. I love Willow, you too. Thank you so I much. I love you. Uh, but my question is actually for Ellie. Um, during your season, I actually connected with you a bit. Um, I just want to know, like, coming from your background, coming from like where you're from, and um, the the uh, in England, um, Scotland, and the, uni the United, the United, the United Kingdom. I'm so sorry. The UK, D, the UK. Honey. I'm so sorry. Coming from where you're from and like the job description that you had before, I can't exactly pinpoint where you're from. But like, I, correct me if I'm wrong. It's been like a year and a half, maybe two years since like your season. How's it been like being thrown into like this life-changing platform and like coming from where you're from and like how's how's it been? How's it been? A dream. Oh my God, it's been a dream. Like it's something that like I started doing drag from like watching Drag Race and stuff and like never thinking that it could possibly happen. I went through like a really rough year. So like season one got announced for casting and that was my rough year. I was like, girl, I'm not ready mentally, physically, emotionally, everything. I was like, let me just not apply for this one. And then season two came around and I was like, okay, I've like worked to myself this year, made some money. Um, let me just try it and um, go on. Um, and then didn't win, but whatever. <laughs> no, but like it's, um, it's catapulted me into something that I would never thought could happen. Like I moved to Manchester in January, like I said before, and like I have a gorgeous little dog called Haggis. How fucking cute is that? She's a little Frenchie, and I was like, um, Haggis, that's her name. I was like, go on. Um, I'm like a gorgeous flat and a gorgeous boyfriend who, like, I'm so happy and proud to have that. Like, it's surreal. It's surreal, I guess, yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Yes, Ellie. Oh my God, and I had, I had the Dennis Menace costume from uh, the episode be put into a fucking museum in Dundee. Like, that's so crazy. So, okay. yeah. Is it a camp. drag museum or just a... Uh... No, so it's like a... You know, like, when you go with girls, like, oh, we're going to the museum. Boring. Like, that's so boring. Um, and then now there's that, like, just in the middle of the museum, which is so f so fab. Yeah. 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 Part of her story. Love it. We have another question for you ladies over here. Hi, I'm Robert from Ithaca, New York. Um, I'm just curious... Um, on your season, is there something that you were hoping to express or a talent that you were hoping to be able to flex that you weren't able to? And if so, what was that? Well, Robert from Ithaca, um, I, no, I think I like wore myself out. I showed everything I could. <laughs> I was like, no more. Um, yeah, I can whistle. <laughs> whistle. <laughs> you didn't get to do that on your season. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 
That should be your talent show for all winners. There you go. <laughs> We did um, Rats the Rusical, and I was dead set on the rapping part, which I ended up getting, so I'm glad. But like looking back, I'm like, I wish I showed people that I can actually sing. Like, I used to do musical theater a lot when I was younger. I played Joseph in the Technicolor Dream Co. I played the Phantom in the Phantom of the Opera. And like, it was amateur productions, but I still sang the notes. Um, so yeah, I like, if I were to go back, I'd probably sing something. Why don't you just sing something? Do you right want to sing right? Yeah, do you want to sing shady. right now? I knew it was coming. <laughs> I mean, we don't mean to put you on the spot, but can we get a spotlight on her, please? <laughs> no, no. I had no idea what I would do. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm too shy. I'm too shy. I'll do it on TV, and then you can watch it there. <laughs> Boots. But you're on YouTube. It's like TV. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a couple more cocktails, and we'll see. All right. We have another one right here. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, Ellie, my question is for you. So, of course, uh, during season two, the pandemic started. And that episode that you did like that uh, during the pandemic, like at home, like film yourselves and talk about your feelings. I want to thank you because uh, to all of the cast, because uh, I think everyone felt like uh, identified with what you were going through. So my question will be like, of course, this happened like uh, in just a moment and you have to go home so at what point did production say you know girls you better start start filming yourselves because we need some material like how did that happen straight away <laughs> like we had like when the day we left they gave us like a spreadsheet of like questions we should answer and like film ourselves like replying to things like keeping ourselves um like trying to remember what happened the day before so when we go back like everything's like it was like two days ago, but it was seven months. They wanted we you to keep the break. continuity of the Yeah, show, continuity yeah. for stuff. Um, but yeah, they were like, they wanted to do that special very quickly. Um, whether it got like said, yeah, we'll definitely put it out straight away was probably not the case, but we still filmed everything and they wanted everything very raw and in the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> I love that everyone came back with the same outfit and a different face. <laughs> different face. <laughs> Different. Me and Lawrence walked in and we were like, it's good to see you. Who, what is going on? Who else is this? <laughs> sister, si sister, sister, sister. In. <laughs> oh, girl. Had a brand new set of teeth. Who is she? Was she on this season? Who? Sister, <laughs> yeah, see you. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, forget false. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you have a question over there, Batty? I do. Sorry, the straight man was coming back. I told the girl she better go find him. He's in a gay bar. Have a seat, Tom. Security. Hi, what's your name? I'm Ben. Hi. Uh, my question is, what was like your most proud, or like the runway that you were most proud of, or like most excited to show off? That was my question. Okay. Um, while y'all think, for my season, mine was my bag runway. I was in the bottom <laughs> that episode, <laughs> but it went really well after that. Yeah. yeah. I think mine was the uh, the house look, cause my my neighbor and my roommate made that house, and they spent like so much time on it. They spent like thirty to forty hours in that house, and I was like, I cannot leave without showing this. Um, and yeah, that's definitely that's my favorite one way I ever got to show. Like, other than this, because I love this, um, the outfit that I made there for the design challenge, the Lockdown Shiro runway, I love that because, like, it took me back to, like, when I first started doing drag, like, just taking things from Poundland or Dollar Tree or whatever is over here um, and, like, making something out of nothing, and that's what we had for that challenge. So I should have won that one, but whatever. But it was still calm, and I still have it, but it's in pieces. Like, I want to get it, like, custom done with, like, proper fabrics for it, but I don't know. It's still sitting there, though. It's cute. All right, we what have a you? question right over here. Hi, I'm John from Toronto. Um, Hi, and, John. And uh, my question is, you've given us a lot of tea tonight on the production and what's kind of happened behind the scenes. Nature has. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, see? What's the weirdest thing that happened to you behind the scenes if you're able to talk about it? They're able to talk about it. Oh, I had a really good thing. So I love the um, Mango Local Monster 
My favorite monster is Mango Loco. It's my energy drink. I don't like Red Bulls. Too, like, bleh. Anyways, so Mango Loco. And I asked for it all the time. I was like, can I get a Mango Loco? Like, I'll give you the money for it. Can you go to the shop and get a Mango Loco? And they didn't want to. So, like, when the queens were getting eliminated, like, one by one, I was like, there's only, like, three or four of us left. Can I get my Mango Locos? And they brought in, like, a 20 case of Mango Loco the next day. I'm so camp. <laughs> Monster, I really enjoy Mango Loco Monster. The weirdest thing? I don't know. The a lot of weird shit happens behind the scenes. Um, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think. The, most of the weird shit happened at breakfast. Um, you're kind of like, that's like your free range. You know, you're like uh, cage free chicken time where you're just able to hang out. Um, I would like feed Angeria donuts every morning. I was horny. <laughs> I think the weirdest thing is they don't allow. The, when when I got eliminated, I couldn't Here talk to goes I couldn't talk to anyone. You can't. They literally, and you guys know this. Like you staying there, the person who gets eliminated, like when they when you say bye to them on the stage, that really is when you say bye to them, because you go get put in a room, you stay in that room, then. Um, you go do the lipstick thing, then you go back in a room, <laughs> and then they see the lipstick thing. Like it's a whole thing, so you're like by yourself the whole time. It's you and like a production person from that point on. And I thought that was so weird, and I had to do it twice. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck! Like I can't even say like talk to them. So there was a couple times like when I came back, I ran into Layla in the hallway, and she had would she was in her room. And she didn't know I was back, and she's like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> like, really, like, surprised. Like, why are you here? And I'm like, girl, they brought me back, and she was not happy about it. Okay, Nisha, I have a question real quick before you get yeah, to Yeah, go that. ahead. So, I, I have all these questions I think about it when the girls start talking. Is it true, Bob said, like, their se your season was the last time, season eight, that they eliminated a girl and then brought them back for the Meet the Queens. Were you, was that true? Were you eliminated before you came back to do that Meet the Queens? That is correct. Okay. So, the... The hardest thing about my uh, whole entire season was that um, someone thought it was a great idea to film Meet the Queens the next day after my elimination. So every girl on my season, season eight, is still competing except for me. So I've been eliminated and I have to do Meet the Queens and this was literally the very next day. They're like, well, before Nisha leaves, let's get Meet the Queens in. So I had oh to God. do like the, I had to shoot the commercial and then they're like, well, let's pair her up with, Ly with Layla. And you know, Layla's like, oh my God. you know what I mean? Like, it was just, it was so bad. They're like, so hey. it, it was, everyone's like super excited to do Meet the Queens and everyone's like, so why do you think you're going to win? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm gone. <laughs> like, I was like so mad, but yeah, I had like, I had to do all of it. With just my elimination, which really like sucked. And if y'all didn't know, now they uh, bring once the season's filmed, they bring all the girls back right before to do all that. So they wow. probably they probably changed that because, because of, of because you. Of you. <laughs> yeah, because it was it's a, imagine it's a really it's a really hard thing to yeah, do. You have to put on a little extra oh, more. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You know what was fun behind the scenes is I uh, I was like the only girl that took advantage of the pool at the hotel. I would just make, yeah we had a pool. And I would go like every fucking day. And then by the end, I would just like create this like, ugh, like hot tub club where I would like invite a girl to the pool with me and we would just talk she shit. She was horny. Yeah, uh, but it was so funny because I would always just be at the pool. You have like a 30 minute limit. And so it would just be me with like a supervisor, like sitting by the pool, like my mom and I'm in the pool just like, hey, woo. I was like splashing on. I was having so much fun because you can't live a normal life. So I would just be like, woo, woo, um, with like someone's kids from Florida, you know? So. And then in the hot tub, I'd always get in the hot tub like every night. And obviously I'm being supervised. And then like some like 50 year old dad from Wisconsin comes in. He's like, so what are you doing here? And I'm just like, Oh, I'm just like, you know, I love California. And he's like, yeah, I love the Burbank Airport, too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so no, I, just, I had fun fair. making up these lies uh, uh, about why I was uh, yeah. at the Burbank Airport Hotel. Oh, that's what I loved as well. When people, like, when they were talking about, like, oh, you, you know, are you under? I'm like, I loved lying about it. And like, no, no, I'm not on the show. When people ask you, like, in clubs, like, oh, are you on that new season? Da, da, da. Like, no. You make up some lie. It's so fun. <laughs> well, we have a question for you ladies right over here. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm from Arizona. Um, I was just wondering, this is kind of random. I guess it's kind of like what Willow was talking about. But what are like the snacks and amenities and like the hotel like that you get to stay in? How is craft services? <laughs> it was more like crap services, girl. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Triggered. Uh, ours was great. I don't know about yours. But I mean, uh, to be fair, British food is already shit. But... <laughs> No, it is. It, it is. is. Don't admit that. Every every Brit you say that to <laughs> will say He's that. He's got his flash on British food. Oh no, shit. I'm getting canceled for hating British food. <laughs> um, the no, it was great. We had like uh, all sorts of healthy snacks and like lots of Twinkies and Red Bulls and and sure. By the end, you have a really tar- hard time eating because um, you're like really nauseous and anxious for every runway. So they have a lot of like Pedialyte and Ensure. Um, but the catering was fierce. We had like lobster and steak and scallops. It was great. Ellie, how were the beans and biscuits? <laughs> Girl, we had beans on toast. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, you know what? Um, I was actually all right. For me, it was okay. Everyone else was very picky eater, but I was like, oh, you give me food? <laughs> Bitch, I'll eat it. I'm not that picky for food, so. I ate everything because, you know, you be thankful for what you get and you don't throw a fit. Um, but some people oh, was very much like, no, I'm not eating this shit. Like, what the fuck is all this? Like, can I just get, like, some cheese and fucking ham on a sandwich? Why are you talking about a horror like this? Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can tell the voices. Yeah, like, because, like, loads of money. If we have a question. I have another one over here if you don't have one back. Yeah, I don't. They're, okay, they're right over here. Boring. Boring over here. Uh, hey, this is Greg from Chicago. Um, just Hi, a question Greg. on Michelle Visage. Uh, <laughs> everyone's favorite topic. I like. It seems like, as a viewer, she's the voice of Rue. Like, what Rue doesn't want to say, but, like, Michelle will say it. Um, but Raja famously, like, blew up at her that we didn't see. How helpful or constructive do you find Michelle's criticism, or is it just kind of mean? Like, what's, what's the actual vibe like when you're filming? I love Michelle. Yeah. She was so nice to me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really liked Michelle. I thought she was great in person. She was very warm. Um, she did, like, our final music video challenge with all of us, and she was, like, super easy to talk to. She's very motherly. Um, yeah. I like her a lot. I think most of the cast does too. I, n- no one in our cast that I know of has any any beef with her. I know some girls do, but uh, yeah, she was really sweet. I like her a lot. And even the beef she's had with girls, like they kind of talk it out and always like fix stuff. Yeah, sort she's of. Not, she's not above yeah. anyone. Yeah, totally. Like she's always heard them out and they talked about it and stuff like that. So I hear, but yeah. Um, did you want? Did you say about Michelle? What your? Oh, she's also very supportive online. Like, if you post something yeah. or do something, yeah. she'll message you and be like, "Oh my God, congratulations to E. So fierce!" And I'm like, what? "Yeah, I can message her, and she'll. I know that she'll message yeah. me back." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. We have another question right over here. Oh, same. Yeah. <laughs> it must be nice. Yeah, I can't stand you, Batty. I can't stand Batty. Hi. So I'm Ricardo from Mexico. We I'm we wait you there. we are wait you there. <laughs> so uh, Willow, why the fuck did didn't anybody help you with those boxes on your season? That that was so strange to watch. Like oh. Okay, uh, so what? the reason no one helped me with the boxes is because they're all ableist and you should cancel them. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, no no. The reason is that the audience was privy, uh, only like Cornbread in the audience was really privy to the knowledge of what was going on behind the scenes. So it's like when I say in the confessionals, this is what I'm going through, this is what my life is like, that doesn't mean that they all hear that. They, you all hear that and know that. 
Um, but I didn't really talk about it that much with the cast. So it was really Cornbread, um, a little bit of Angie and Carrie, and the rest of them kind of had to find out like through whispers or after the show had wrapped. And the staff, um, they don't want to get in the camera shots. So like if you know when you're there filming, the camera crew they wear like all black, um, and they kind of disappear. So like the first few days that you're there, you re you notice them at all times. You're like, oh my god, there's a camera like right in my fucking face. And then after a few days, it just feels like you're like in this reality where no one's watching you. Um, so but they do that very purposely. So they yeah, it was. It was fine. I ended up getting him open. We have another question right over here. Just Hi. sitting down. Hi, I'm Eddie from Chicago. My question is for Willow. Uh, what made you decide to move to Chicago? Oh, okay. So I was, I've been visiting the scene for a long time. I've been performing in Chicago for like four years. Um, and I loved it every time. I would come out like every few months. Um, you know, back when she who should not be named was... Uh, ruling some things. <laughs> um, and uh, I just <laughs> fell in love with the scene. <laughs> she have a visceral reaction. Um, and uh, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to move there soon. And then the pandemic happened. And I was like, oh, well, when this pandemic is over in a few weeks, I'll move then. <laughs> um, and then finally me and my roommate decided after our lease was up that we would move. And that was like July 1st, 2021. And it just so happened that the final day of filming was June 30th. So I got back on the plane to Denver, and then the next day I headed out in a U-Haul, which was great, but also I like, didn't get to say <laughs> goodbye to anyone or anything like that. And my roommate had to figure everything out. We have a question right here. Sure. <laughs> so my name is Tony. Hey, Tony. Uh, this is my girlfriend, Lauren. So it's her birthday on Sunday. She's a Libra, right? Happy birthday. Uh, I surprised her with a trip to Chicago. She loves Chicago. Um, but I actually have the question. So what is one song you wish you could have lip synced to? That was like, Such a, a, good that was like an option during our season. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll go with that. Is there any song that you missed out on? Mm. I'm trying to remember. They, they give you like 30 songs on an iPod Nano, which I don't think they make anymore, do they? <laughs> they're just recycled from so all the years So if back. one of those gets destroyed, they're down one. Um, I'm trying to think if there was like a song. Honestly, I was most excited about the song I got. Um, yeah. So I was very lucky in that aspect. But I'm trying to think if there was another one on there. Um, like you're going through the list, you're like, oh, if I get this, it's over. Oh, we had Dolly Parton, uh, Why'd You Come In Here, which they ended up doing on All Stars. And I love that song so much. And I knew every word before I got there, and it's a very wordy song. So I was like, oh, if I get this, I'm fucking murdering. <laughs> it's also, going down. I Death drops, splits, <laughs> rolls. Flips. Also, I love the strategy that she had when she's like, oh, I don't want this song. So and fun. she really wanted that song. <laughs> and then she ended up getting it. That, that was, was so it. good. I, I love that. What about you? What song would you wish you would have lip sync to? I can't remember what was on our original list, but I was happy with the song that I got. It was all right. It was a dance number. I did what I did. If I could choose the song, oh, I think at that time, my mind would have been like Kill the Main by Grimes, like something I could go fucking crazy at. Um, but then if not, like something like a ballad, because like I haven't performed a ballad in years and I love a ballad. So um, what was the song that Lawrence and Tia did? Or no, it was the I one that know. I wore out and tasted. Um, uh, Dusty Springfield, you don't have to say that one. I love that song. So I was so song. disappointed that last week they didn't do an FKA song. I know. I uh, was so annoyed. If Baby would have been in the other group. Can I you think imagine they if they had done cellophane or something? Uh, that would have been. So and they like dim all the lights and like two stripper poles come up. 
ca- suddenly candles are no, lit that's everywhere. production. That's production money. The production. UK doesn't have that. We don't have production I money. I would love that. That would have been so great. Okay, we have one last question right over here. Hi, my name is Corey. I'm from Chicago. Um, you were talking about the confessionals before. Um, so my question is about the continuity and the confessionals. So I think the show does a great job with the continuity, but except for diabetes, construction paper. <laughs> but, uh, my question is like, do they replay the the scenes from the prior days while you're in the confessionals so that you remember what you're talking about? It's all just sort of like of memory, and sometimes yeah. you can't remember, and they just skip the question. But they don't show you anything, so whenever you guys see it, that's when we see it. Like we don't get to have a preview unless we do a preview. Yeah, they, I mean, we did confessionals like every other day, and so they try to keep it as topical as possible, so you remember. And then on your, like your last day there, I did like eight or nine hours of interviews. Yeah, oh, and shit. they're just like in episode one, you told June that you were gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> what did you do in there? And you're just like trying to remember something that happened like seven weeks ago after like so much information. Um, but yeah, they don't really show you anything or, or what the show's gonna look like. But it is funny, they do do that. Like, yeah. you said and this, and you're like, and you're like I, I have no, my I? brain did is I? <laughs> mush right now. I barely know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of cigarettes and uh, Red Bull you're drinking and smoking, yeah. you have no idea what's going on. Ellie, when, when y'all were doing confessionals, did y'all have, were y'all talking to someone through an iPad or were they in person? So when, before COVID, we had um, somebody in person. And then after the seven months break and we all came back, um, there was someone on like an iPad screen, yeah. I remember Denali saying they spoke to people on an iPad screen. Did you also do the same, Willow? Yeah, we did, which was so weird to get used to at first. I remember the first day I walked in, and I thought it was going to be in person because COVID had like calmed down a little bit by the time uh, we filmed. And then I walked in there, and I was alone in the room, and I was just like, this is so awkward. Alone. But it got, well, I got used to it after a while. At six o'clock in the morning with these bright lights. I had so yeah. many breakdowns in those confessional rooms. I hated, oh, I hated so them. Many. I hated them. The number of times you cry and it doesn't even get aired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they would be like, so like introduce the workroom for the next day. Can I have a cigarette break? Like five minutes, is that okay? And he's like, yeah, take your time, take your time. And the rooms are small. It's like that DJ booth right there, pretty much. Like yeah. That's literally yeah, what tiny. the confessional room is, is really tiny. like. And they ask you a lot of the same questions. Like the, the main question they ask you, which we would all joke about, is like, so it's a new day in the workroom, set that up. And you have to come up with so many ways to say it and be like, it's a new day in the workroom, and we're having fun. <laughs> Did you get some of yours used? Did you did, did they use any of yours? Because I, I did think they so used, like, many. One of mine, and it was one that never I did used sarcastically. Them. Yeah, yeah. They never used any of mine, but they did it so many times, and I was like, at least he's one take, yeah. one. Yeah. I love that. All right, All ladies right. and gentlemen, did you guys have a good time tonight? Yeah. yeah. Please make some noise for our guests this evening, Miss Willow Pill. Yeah. And make some noise for Ellie Diamond. Yes, yes, yes. I want to remind you that at 10.30 p.m., we will all be performing. So stick around for performances. They are going to be lots and lots and lots of fun. Also remind you that our tickets um, are live on our Instagram profile. We have Lala Ree and Adora Delano next week. So make sure you get your tickets, and we will see you guys next week. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that, Hit that bell button. Icon. Please. And, of course, all that gorgeous merch. I can't wait. We're going to wear our merch next week. Stunted, um, and that will all be available. The link is right here on that right corner. Click on it and check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nisha Lopez. I'm Batty Davis. And I am Caramel DeVille. We'll see you all soon and next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Have a good night. Goodbye, bye, Rascals. Oh. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. See you Bye, YouTube.